We could one day see a lot more scenes like this movie crews on the streets of Las Vegas and movies produced at a multi million dollar studio right here in the valley. Today, the Clark County Commission gave the green light for Summerlin Studios to begin the process of building a $700 million facility. This project is a collaboration of the Howard Hughes Corporation and Sony Pictures. Now, these are renderings. We're pulling them up full for you here on your screen of the studio that the county says will bring more than $1.6 billion and thousands of jobs to our community. The 500,000 square foot project will be near South Town Center Drive and West Flamingo Road. And neighbors living near the studio site showed up at today's commission meeting. They raised concerns about the traffic that will be brought to the area. Flamingo is not an arterial street. West of Wallapai, Flamingo becomes a 35 mile per hour local road. Local roads provide limited mobility and are the primary access to residential area shops and local business. A movie production studio is not a local business. It's an industry which will draw from the greater community and its main entrance is better suited to be located on a thoroughfare that can carry larger volumes of traffic than this area. A spokesman for the Howard Hughes Corporation said the company is working with them on that issue. Take a listen. Flamingo, uh, and when I get out to town center and further down on Wallapai, those road networks are the largest networks in your system to carry the, the, the most intense traffic around. Now, there is another studio on the drawing board. That's the Las Vegas Media Campus, scheduled to be built near the Durango Resort and Casino. This by California-based Bertha Development in partnership with UNLV. Its developers say eight to 10,000 construction jobs will be created for that project. And also, it's going to be a place for students to learn to become future members of the industry. And the move to bring a movie studio to Summerlin will be huge for the area, helping to add another element to our already busy entertainment capital of the world. You might remember last year a proposed bill for the expansion of the state's film tax credit during the 2023 legislative session died without a vote in either house, but now it is possible it might get revisited. The bill was introduced by Senator Roberta Lang and was backed by actors Jeremy Renner and Mark Wahlberg. Fox 5 spoke with Wahlberg back when the bill was going through the legislature and this is what he told us. I'm hoping to premiere my next film here and hoping to make lots of films here and move lots of studios and streamers and everybody here to create new jobs, new industry. I think it's got everything to offer and uh, you know it's just a matter of time. And according to a letter sent to members of the Senate in February, Lang says that she plans to make some changes to the proposal, including reducing the state's commitment from the proposed $190 million in annual tax credits over 20 years to $95 million annually over 17 years. Lang also thinks that the reason the original bill died in 2023 was because there wasn't enough time for lawmakers to consider it. She plans to bring back the bill in 2025.